Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually doing an install on one of our most popular products, the door reinforcement plate. We have a few people that ask, you know, do I really need it or how does it work? So we figured while we were working on one of our own projects and we came across the actual notorious door handle problem, we would just go ahead and film it for you and, uh, and, and show you exactly what it does and how it actually installs. All right, so this is the actual door reinforcement plate, and basically this is what you'll you'll see when you get it. It comes with the rivets that you're going to need. Um, they'll be taped to it. Uh, you'll know if it's a driver or passenger by there's a laser cut D or a P in the upper corner. And basically this thing, well, I'll just kind of show you how it how it mounts right quick. Uh, it just kind of sits up here like this, and all these holes they just they line up with the factory holes. You'll drill these these holes here out to be able to put rivets in it. The reason why we send rivets with it is we've uh, we've run into a lot of cases where uh, we're running self-tapping screws or something like that. The vibration of going down the road actually vibrates the screws loose. So to us, it's just better to run rivets. You don't need anything special. Just uh, go down to your local tractor supplier, Harbor Freight, and get you a cheap rivet gun if you don't have one already. That's there doesn't need to be anything special. Just something like this, just a simple rivet gun. Okay, so I took the I took the rivets off. We're gonna set this thing up here, and you can use anything from a uh, from a pencil, a magic marker, a pen. I'm gonna use a pick just to kind of make me a couple of uh, uh, marks to where to drill. Typically, what I do is is I'll just well, first of all, you got to keep it straight. Typically, what I do is I'll just I'll just mark a couple on either side. And I'll drill those, then I'll stick it up here and rivet it. And then I'll drill the other ones with it in place. That way I know that I've got the rivet holes in the proper spots. Again, no special kind of tool, just uh, just a standard drill, standard drill bits, nothing, nothing crazy. Okay, so the bit size you're going to want to use is going to be a 1 8 inch drill bit. That's going to be the perfect size for the end of this, this pop rivet here. Um, I just drilled these two holes here, which are this hole and this hole. And basically, that what I'm doing with that is, is I'm just going to put this up here and use those two holes to align the actual bracket. I'll drill the other holes once these two are riveted in place. And that way we make sure that we don't get the holes off. Start with the bottom one. And basically you just want to properly size the rivet head piece. Put the rivet in place. And then rivet it in. We'll do the same thing up here. You want to make sure while you're putting these rivets in that you hold some pressure against it to make sure that this the plate actually sits flush against the door skin. All right. Now that I have those two put into place, I'm going to go ahead and drill the rest of these, um, and then we'll put the the new pieces in. I know there's some of y'all out there that's gonna want to try to skimp and not put all of these rivets in, but it's very important that you put them all in. The reason being is, is if you think about it, every time you get in and out of the truck, you're torquing on this plate here, and you're gonna eventually break these little small pop rivets. That's the reason why there are so many in this plate. All right, so that's what it looks like with all the rivets in place and it actually mounted to the door. You can see the thicker steel that, that's used here for uh, for this reinforcement plate will really help make this, this handle a lot more rigid. Now, we're actually gonna mount the handle lever back to the door. Um, let me grab the, uh, the cage nut that came out of the door and, and the bolt. 
So essentially we're just gonna, we're gonna have to spread this out just a little bit to, to make it work a little, make it slide on there a little easier per se. Um, you could pretty much do this with pliers or a screwdriver or just about anything you can get some leverage with. Not too much, just a little bit, make your, uh, make your life a little easier there. it up now this tab here is actually going to slide into this hole so you're going to come over here slide it in just kind of bump it in place a little bit and you're going to put your your your, your bolt in here so on this particular truck it's an 11 millimeter i have seen some that are eight So that's mounted to the door and then all, obviously all we got to do now is just mount the, the door handle to it and just mount right back like it was from the factory, just like that. This bolt here is typically an eight, sometimes it's a 10. This one here is an eight though. Some people put this on before and some people put this on after they put the door panel on. I'm doing it now before just to kind of demonstrate the actual added rigidity of this reinforcement plate. All right, now that's snug down. Basically now, no flexing. A lot of people think it's this cable that gets bad or maybe frayed on the inside, but typically it's just that this thing is flexing so much that it actually can't pull the cable properly. This door actually didn't want to open well, and I never really paid much attention to it just because it's been a project truck up until now. So this, uh, this fixed it. All right, well, this is the actual installed product. Um, you can you can get a real good idea of exactly how this, uh, this, this helps. It, you really put some some leverage on this now and it doesn't flex at all so um thank you for viewing our videos and if you like these uh, please like and subscribe to our channel uh, stay tuned for plenty of new projects and how-to videos in the future